I'm Congressman Warren Davidson. Today I'm in the Troy, Miami County Public Library, and as part of Read Across America Week, I'm going to read a book with you. Today we're going to read Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Are you ready? All right, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where you go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street, and you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently, frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be up. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your game will fly on and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or turn right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not. I'm afraid you'll find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start in a race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdishly wild space headed I fear toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or a phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone's just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of a guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be famous as famous as can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when you don't, because sometimes they won't.
I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go through, though the weather be foul, on you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go through hack and cracks howl, onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. As you get mixed up, of course, as you already know, you'll get mixed up with some strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never give up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98.34% guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxom, or Bixby, or Bray, or Mordecai, Ally, Van Halen, Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. Thanks for listening to the book, and I hope you find someone else to read with soon.